Hi everybody and welcome to my channel. So I'm just down near Franklin Prison to do this little video. I've actually just been down to the uh, Arneson Shopping Centre which is just a small, well, a short journey down the road. And this wasn't a planned video, I was just coming up to the shopping centre doing a bit of shopping and I thought while I'm here I might as well do a little video talking about the prison. But I'll just spin the sea here. So for whoever's been following my channel and actually seen the Franklin Prison documentary, this was the road that we walked up. But um, I'm on a public road here, so get wrong for doing a video outside the prison. But uh, the reason why I was just gonna do a little video talking about this is because this is where I was when I was 21 year old. Coming down that, that's the road you come down to go into the prison through them gates over there but uh, as you can see that's the gates the main entrance just flip that back round again because I know they're uh, when you're doing videos outside of prison they don't really like it but I uh, that's the uh, the main gates over there where the paddy wagon goes through and that was the, uh, like I say, that was the, that was the gates that I went through in the prison van when I was 21 year old. And behind, on them gates behind there, over them walls, you've got the worst of the worst. There's 850 prisoners in there and they're all category A or category B dangerous and a lot of the half of them or the majority of them actually probably about two-thirds are predators who are doing massive massive sentences a lot of them are doing life without parole 30 wrecks and different things but when the video walking up there's the the outside of the wall just to show how big this prison actually is and Franklin prison is a category A dispersal and right next door to it you've got next door to it you've got Lower Newton prison which is the women's prison and that also holds high profile female prisoners and that is a, a lot of them some of the ones I'll talk about who's behind them walls is the likes of Rose West Lucy Leppy, I'm not sure if she's actually there yet, but she'll be on her way there. Um, Joanna Denny, who's serving life without parole, she's actually behind there as well. And you've got the worst of the worst behind them walls there. But um, I'll just go around this way. I'll try not to get people in the video because they might not want to be in it. But uh, as you're walking up, you can see there. Now that's still Franklin, the one with the wall round. Because Low Newton is only fenced. I don't think it has the big wall round, but we'll see when we walk round. But um, again, like I've mentioned, but Low Newton Prison used to be a young offenders and it was a, like a detention centre. It was young offenders for, for lads. And it's only, I can't remember how long exactly, but about well over 10 years, 20 years, maybe 15, 20 years ago, it got turned into a female prison, ladies prison, but that's where, whether if you can call them ladies, because a lot of them, like I've mentioned, are high profile, dangerous predators. It's the equivalent of a category A for women, because they don't have different categories for the women, they just have um, like high, all the way down to low. <clears throat> But um, as you can see, the wall behind us, that's how far it stretches down. Now at the bottom, you've got A, B, C and D. And that's all the, what you call the sexual predator wings, the, the bacon wings, whatever you want to call them. And then up the top, you've got F, G and J. And that's where they've got the main location, lads. But around here, so this is... This is still a public road, so I'm all right to fill them down here. But going down here, so there you have the end of Franklin, which is the big wall. 
and then it goes on into Low Newton which is further round and that is all fenced in and like I've mentioned that's the uh, that's where they keep all the females and I did have someone on my podcast talking about um, who was inside of Low Newton and like I've mentioned there's a lot women inside of there but I'll just kind of walk back down to the rear front and area because obviously just don't want to go down onto the private road so I'm just walking back down there but you can see how far I've walked there like the actual size of that prison it's massive from one end to the other but behind them walls there you've got the likes of Ian Huntley uh, Levi Belfield. Hi, right, I'm just on doing a video. <laughs> How are you doing? You alright? So I just paused the video there because I got stopped off someone on the way past here and uh, he watches my YouTube channel. Just popped to say hello, but I um, just seen the, the CCTV van circling there because I know they don't like your video outside the prison, but as long as you're on a public road, you're not doing anything wrong. Um, well, yeah, getting battered, like I was saying, behind, can you, you believe, like, just behind them walls there, you've got the likes of Ian Huntley, Levi Belfield, Wayne Cousins, and Franklin's actually now become known as Monster Mansion. Even though Wakefield is the original Monster Mansion, Franklin is now getting the name, and rightly so, because some of the subscribers are saying, well, that's not Monster Mansion, but... It's because of who's actually behind them walls now. Like the ones that I've just mentioned there. But you also had uh, the Yorkshire Ripper. He was actually in here as well. And he died with COVID not so long ago. Um, so he was another one of the monsters that were behind these walls. I'll just back round a second there. Because. <clears throat> so there. So that's the entrance there. Where you go through. And behind there you've got where reception and if you've been watching me channel for a while you'll have seen that when i've mentioned it behind there reception area welcome to hell and that's what you're greeted with when you go through it's inscribed on the wall welcome to hell and that's exactly what it is but like i've mentioned in my videos before when i was 21 year old coming into this prison i wasn't phased one bit it didn't bother me at all and um that was the mindset I was in, but I'll tell you something now, in my late 30s, I would never want to step foot inside that place again, inside that hellhole. But um, I'm just going to walk a little bit further down and just talk about some more of the people that's inside of there. So you've got the, um, another one that's in there, he's actually been behind them walls, not been in that prison behind them walls, 35 years. When I was in there, which is, when I was last in there, yeah, it was in 2009 when I came from there, so that's 14 years ago, and he'd been in there for 20 years then. So you've got that van there that patrols outside the prison as well, looking for anything suspicious. But um, yes, getting back to Jimmy Johnson, so uh, around about 34, 35 years, so when I was three year old, he went into that prison and he's still in there now. And Jimmy used to walk around the exercise yard every day with another fella, um, Tony Bottrell. As Jimmy was ex-army and um, he, he was suffering from PTSD and he attacked his friend one day when he heard a big bang or something in the, in the car and he actually attacked him. And, ended up getting a life sentence and he's been in there ever since so from the age of me being three year old or nearly full for my lifetime he's been behind them walls which is a a staggering amount of time when you think of it like that just to serve in that same prison behind them walls but because he'd been there that long and he was category a i don't know if he still is i think he might have actually not long been off the book I did hear of someone on my channel, but um, 
all them years, 30 years, I was a cat ear prisoner. And the reason why he'd stayed in that prison for all that time and he was still a cat ear prisoner was because he, uh, he was stubborn. He was set in his ways, he didn't want to get moved. And he kept refusing to do courses because you've got to do courses to reduce your risk, offending behavior courses. But Jimmy just didn't want nothing to do with anything like that. He was refusing everything. He was, like I've mentioned, he was quite stubborn. And that's why he was in there for so long. He didn't cause any grief for anybody, didn't give any screws any grief, but he just wouldn't abide by the offender behavior programs and different things like that. But I am um, just trying to think about anything else inside there or any other persons. Well, I think I'll just leave that one there for now. People, like I see, it was just a spare of the moment video of this because I was just doing a bit shopping nearby. But yeah, uh, hopefully you enjoyed that bit of content, people. Take care, enjoy the rest of your day.